shrink the size of government. We want to stop the outrageous spending and the generational theft. It is because of that that the health Did you have any inkling at, when you got up on Monday morning it was going to be that huge? Did you have yeah. any idea? Did you? I knew it was going to be I big, know. not that big. Well, because I was getting a lot of emails about a week leading up to it, and the emails that I were getting, we were coming from, you know, some of them were coming from Southern Iowa, Wisconsin, you know, a lot within our district with questions about, you know, train stations and everything else. And, Hotels, uh, parking. Yeah, so I, I anticipated, my projection was four to five. Really? Yeah, and uh, you know, and, and it went, and, it, and I had both fingers crossed when I caught it, and then when we had four to five before the bus even showed up, we just looked. And, I mean, we we came to set up, and there was five hundred people just sitting there, <laughs> and I was just like, "Whoa, this is great!" That this is, is great. amazing. Yeah. So. Debbie and Tim, tell us just a little bit about you and your, your what do you do every day? My, as far as my profession? Yeah. Industrial sales rep, and uh, I basically uh, um, have opened a branch in the Midwest for a, a company down south for distribution of piping, valves, fittings, stuff like that for the construction industry. So that sounds so. like a, a, a really an unusual fit. For what you're doing in your a vocation right now, I tell you, what do you do every day? Well, I am a wife and a mom. I have, we have three children together, so that's the big job. And um, I also freelance in media. I've been a television producer for almost 20 years, so I work in the media. And um, I'm a mom and a wife and so, a singer and a singer yeah. and a uh, recorded singer. I have your CD in my car. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Sometimes she does all three at once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yes, absolutely. So, so let's just kind of talk about what happened. I mean, where where you want to start? Where you got involved with this Tea Party movement? You have been involved with activists in your area. Where do you live? In, in, Juliet. Tom, Juliet. Yeah, okay. Live in Juliet. So we're go, just kind well, of well. How it started is actually you know uh, in the past we've been involved in different elections or volunteering from years ago, and then of course we got to raising our family and doing things like that, and we actually moved into this district and. Uh, of course, uh, yeah, I've always been, you know, conservative and listen to talk radio and read books and all that type of thing. And uh, a lot of times you don't know what to do with that energy. And lo and behold, something like the Tea Party came along in April. And uh, it's funny how that worked out because I was downstairs just doing my normal rant about, you know, the state of conditions in our country. And that I'm was listening on the computer. again. She's listening to me. <laughs> Talk to talk shows, you know, talking back to them, they can hear me. And she says, "Hey, this tea party thing, somebody's throwing a tea party in our area." In our area, and uh, for April fifteenth. So I ended up calling the lady. And I said, "You know, we'll be glad to help you out." You know, after she says, "You know, just I can't listen to you anymore." So I called her and I said, uh, "We'll be glad to help you out." Well, lo and behold, this lady comes to me and says, "I've never done anything like this." I. Uh, I had just happened to be, uh, you know, sign my name up, and they made me coordinator, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> so, you know, we uh, we had a little bit of uh, background with some of the elections about eight, ten years ago, and we invited them to come over to the house. There was actually just six of us, and we put the first. That's really the conception of just starting this group. We just kind of jumped in and said, listen, we've thrown events, we'll help. And um, all of a sudden we're this little family sitting around a table and um, all just went out for pizza after that because we were so excited. Well, the funny <laughs> thing was, uh, Fran, is uh, we were reading some of the news articles about uh, the event and uh, they were saying, wow, this must be, you know, uh, uh, being pushed by some conservative groups or the Republican Party or whatever, you know, all this stuff is in the newspaper. 
and we're looking at each other, and there's six of us sitting in my front room going, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> you know, and it was just reflective of actually citizens getting involved in doing something. Mm -hmm. And so often people read something more into it, and actually it was just... Hey.